Uh, Steve Forbes on the set. Now, what he makes of this sort of gas tax holiday. Uh, Steve, always good seeing you. Uh, <laughs> you call it the Go on, Forbes. Really harming production here in the United States. It's astonishing that he's now going to go to Saudi Arabia and he's going to learn that OPEC does not have that much spare capacity. So by killing that pipeline, the, the Keystone pipeline, early in his administration, first day, deprived us of 800,000 barrels of oil from Canada, a friendly country uh, to the United States. They've done everything possible and continuing to do everything possible to build, get in the way of improving refinery capacity, building new refineries, permitting a leasing on federal lands, everything that would help the situation, they're doing the opposite. Rhetoric one thing, actions quite another. You know, um, Democrats always count well, the next. Keystone thing wasn't off the ground. Fuck that, I don't I know. Uh, uh, trades on, on uh, the markets, much like stocks. And, and the thought that supply was going to be hindered amid strong demand the markets read quite correctly that that was going to lift up the price, and it did. And uh, that was long before the first Russian soldiers. Because usually I'd go right. Ukraine. You know, we got to go back on this that, one. We got to go left on this one. Wouldn't that actually make the situation potentially no, not go worse? Left. Wouldn't it drive up demand for gasoline and then raise the price as a result? <laughs> I, I love that pun, drive it up. Uh, no, I think uh, the, a, lo a, lo a lot of people... Uh, are now giving very serious consideration to not doing a lot of driving this summer precisely because of the high price. So don't expect so, your uh, free cash flow and fixed income to play price, out. You can you expect the down cycle. If, it, it's hard to do one of the business with you. If, if I just stretched, had to ask, and, uh, and you didn't tell me the truth, because I'm going to look. Recession. I should just want to ask. I'm going to look because hopefully off the asking that checks out. And I'll just generally know whether you should do business with them or not. About This was obviously a down cycle. How come you made still as much as you did the years prior and the years prior? Or, or exponentially more on that course. It. it just doesn't Every add up. They see, they want Unless you got something, so and it would be cut, big. And as far as I know, like you ain't in charge tax, of Tesla. Grab it, because you don't get much from this administration on tax relief. Nor most wonder, of those uh, OPEC moments. mentioned recession, and the, you know, like, it's all over the map as to when one will be coming. And uh, uh, some say we're in one now. Uh, where are you on this? Look, uh, I've, in at a, most mountains you look at, if you right use a price now, scanner, a majority uh, no down thing, over six months already. That's two quarters. Quarter, a, you might see one or two, uh, quarter, like some of them with a spike a in the middle of it, but that's all they were quarters. doing was trying but to say, oh, well, it was the up there, but it was overall down for the last six months in it. Anybody who claims otherwise is a liar, cheater, and a thief, if not worse than most things. So there's going to be a downturn, and then the question becomes, Will the Federal Reserve buckle under the pressure? Nobody of a asked you to get that big and cheat the system. Buyer beware. In terms of your own risk and index, your pride, buckle, your lust, your envy, your sloth, or anything else that goes inside of those factors. Paying attention to. So when you have a sluggish U.S. economy, rising interest rates, there's going to be damage done to companies and to uh, foreign currencies. And those are going to play expect out Forbes in to be down just a little bit this I year. I'm afraid the Federal Reserve is going too. to say, uh-oh, we're going to retreat. Well, that's how you hard it. 40% on wheat. The argument is like, the markets can't turn around. You knew it was coming. You could see it in the swing. I started the buying up seedy farm, farm posts a while back ago in an electric while. wire for the fence. Uh, yes, it could. I knew that now, was coming. And Neil, instead of being the grasshopper late for crypto when we were inside here, you had a warehouse ready for it, a crew set up, and what you couldn't get in just materials from your own desk, training crew over to JetBlue, was very fly the plane through the they simulators and practice designs of who gets posted on those farms way to bring replace the people down. you do this will bring prices down uh, as businesses going out of business sales yeah prices get cut but that's not the way to really fight inflation stable dollars the you way you to go, go out and you enforce you go hit Got one of the big ones you arrest one of those girls Joe outside the supreme Forbes courthouse and handling all of that we tis the season for non-drowsy symptom relief from a
The hit original Vice series, Dark Side of the 90s, returns with an all-new season. Listing. Joining us now is Steve Jang, founder and managing partner at Kindred Ventures and an early Coinbase backer. Steve, great to have you with us. Thanks for having me. Uh, first of all, did you sell? Did you sell any any shares? No, I did not. You did Total. not. Why not? Yeah. You know, I think this uh, this because company. Because it probably pissed uh, off. Coinbase, so we invested in 2014, and um, the the diligence 